Good morning. This is a fourth video in Aben Solution series. In this video, we are going to see S X two to Aben. Job is cancelled in all these cases, and depends on who is cancelling and what is the reason for cancel. The code number will differ. The first S one two two. In this case, operator cancelled your job, and the reason for operator cancel may be you are doing some action which is some um, uh, the system is not able to uh, do or you are using some resources extensively which is disturbing the overall uh, environment for these reasons operator cancel your job examples like you know you ask for a tape volume which is invalid which is not available or you are using so much of um, uh, you know pool space in all these cases you know operator may cancel your job when operator cancel your job dump will be provided the dump will tell you the uh, the program and your job status at the time of event okay yes 222 is we cancel our job so because we know that our program is running in loop or we wrongly submitted a job in those cases we may go and cancel our job so since we know the reason no dump will be provided for yes 222 yes 322 is um, cpu time limit is exceeded and um, classes are usually associated with various um, processing limits like you know um class a may be for 1 minute cpu limit class b may be 5 minute cpu limit like this you know classes come with um, various processing characteristics of um, a cpu limit um, a run time how many tape drives can be accessed like this so if cpu time limit um, is exceeded then the job is going to fail with s322 open s522 is Wait time exceeded. Like you know, you ask for a resource and the resource is not provided within the time limit, um, which is predefined. Then the job will be failing with um, S five two two. Example is tape mounting. Okay, S six two two not an important one. And um, you you are in a TSO, but you didn't do any action for quite some time. Then you will be thrown out, and that time the session will be cancelled, and the code will be S six two two. S seven two two. Usually, you know, a job is supposed to have only certain number of um, uh, displays. I mean, sysout lines. If the sysout lines is um, exceeded uh, the predefined limit set, then the job is going to fail with S seven two two event. Okay. So uh, next S eight two two. This is um, you ask for a region um, in your step, and the region is. Not available. Then that much of region is not available. Then you will get S A two two event. Additionally, I want to say two other events here, which is related S A T A eight or four. In these cases, you ask for a region. That region is allocated, but it is not sufficient for the program to run. In that case, you will get A T A or eight or four. Now we'll try it out. You know, couple of um, event codes by our practice. So what we can do. Maybe this one I can try it out. What is this? This I'll first do S two two two, which is the most simplest case. So what is the loop program? Sorry, loop program is one something you know. It's a forever loop. It's going to run forever. <coughs> I'll run this job and I go and cancel it. I'll get two 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 open. Job is cancelled, but if I go and see the reason, I'll have S two two open, and there will be no dump provided since I am cancelling the job. Okay, now we'll try it out. Um, uh, maybe S seven two two. That is also easy. Or first we'll try it out. Um, S three two two. Which is time limit exceeded. So what I did is um, my class is A. With that the job is submitted. That may have more than um, one minute of CPU limit. So I am restricting with the time parameter in job card with one limit. If the job is going to run more than one minute, it is going to fail. Sorry, going to use more than one minute of CPU. Then the job is uh, going to fail with S three two two. Okay. So okay. Okay. So let it run. It will run for um, one minute of CPU. 
I will in the meantime will write 722. Okay, 722 is um, the sysout lines exceeded the limit. So for that also, you know, I tap the sysout um, lines with um, 1k here. And what is uh, loop one contains same forever loop, but it has a display of i. Okay. So let's run this. So you got a S722. What is S722? We go and see. So estimator lines exceeded because I asked for only 1k. If it is more than 1k is coming, the job will fail. Okay. So now what happened to our S322? Yeah, it's abandoned. So S322 yes, is um, no dump is provided, it is a CPU timeout. Um, I mean, if you see that the CPU usage is just above 1. So, 1 minute is exceeded in the CPU time, you are going to fail, it's going to fail with S322. Yes, okay, so I think that's it respect to sx22 events thanks for watching